Hey y'all, it's Blue. How are y'all to do, doing today? This morning, I guess. Um, so, we gotta talk, folks. We gotta talk, we gotta talk, we gotta talk, because it's been a lot that's been on my mind, right? Especially with this, this coming up. Can y'all hear me? If you are on, I need to know if y'all can hear me, because I need to, I need to share some stuff with y'all tonight. Tonight, um, we need to talk. We need to get prepared for this event that is coming in just a few hours away. Y'all, this is not something to play with. First things first, I need to share what has been on me for a week, and it was really strong today. Y'all, do not go out into this thing. Do not do it. you got to understand what is going on here. And I'm going to go through a list of a lot of things that are going to happen that they're not even talking about. But I've reached and I found out. And so, the first thing that I need to share is don't take y'all's asses out into this eclipse. And let me tell you why. You have to understand that the sun, which gives us our light, is being darkened. And that's casting darkness upon the land. Do you understand? And these folks in up here that do not... That they're, they're going out here getting these um, glasses and trying to go look at this. I understand that this is a rare event. I understand that. But folks, some things you just don't need to mess with. You understand? Hey, y'all. Hey. Hi. I see you. I see you, Ash. I see you. I see you, user 406, all those numbers. I see you guys. Hey, Fofo. And so, anyway, case in point. Don't go out into this. No, Ash, if you don't like it, you can step off. Because I got to say what I got to say. Now, this is what you don't want, sis. You don't want this. You don't want the smoke. So I'm just going to ignore you through the rest of the thing. So case in point, I'm going to go through some things. Now, some folks want to go out there and experience it. I get it. You might want to experience that because it's, it's, it's new. But we're talking energy. We are talking energy at this point, right? And there are some... When things happen up there, as above, so below. As above, so below. So, we can do this real quick. Hold on, let's, real quick. Let me go ahead and get this real quick. Hold on. Just give me one second. Bam. Bam. All right. And so, anyway, uh, I, I wrote some things down. And the first thing, one of the things that came on me while I was going through having these downloads I kept hearing in my spirit cover your head cover your head cover your head cover your head all right so the other thing that I heard with that was put salt sprinkle a little salt in the like you know on the mole of your head the soft spot of your head and cover that head up why because again there's a lot of energy going on up there the sun, which gives us, especially melanated people, our energy, our life, it's our life source. It is being darkened. Do you understand? Are y'all are y'all picking up what I'm putting down? So again, the salt repels negative energy. And having that salt on your head and the soft spot of your head and covering your head is like a protective shield. It is a protective shield of, of, of negative energy. So I heard that cover your head. I've been hearing it all week, but it was really, really strong today. So now that we are coming up on this day, I'm suggesting that you sprinkle a little bit of salt in your head. It doesn't have to be a lot. Just take a little bit, sprinkle it on the top of your head, into your head, let it fall into your scalp or whatever. And if you can't do that, Shoot, get some um, salt water and put it on the head and get something cover your head. If, if it's a head wrap, if it's a cap, skull cap, whatever, cover your head. Cover your head. I don't know why I hear power off. Hold on one second. Make sure my things are on here. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Okay. Okay. All right. Can y'all hear me, Lizette? All you guys, Shamia, can y'all hear me? I need someone to tell me if they can hear me because I just have to turn my earbuds on. 
all right all right all right all right so again cover your heads now I'm now I'm about to get into the juice of this thing if y'all would hit that like button for me if, you, if this is helping you he's at that like button. okay so we got to get into the meat of this thing so I'm gonna tell y'all some of the things that are going on right now and let me tell you like I said stay in the house with this shit do not go out there. There's too many things going on, which I'm about to go through, that's going to rock your world. That's going to make you like, what the hell? Because they're not talking about these things in the media. They're not telling you the rest of the story. They're not telling you what to do. Now, if you go to my YouTube channel, which is uh, the same handle that I have here, I just posted a couple of videos about it, but I didn't give you all of it. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to probably do a more in-depth video. And then after that, at sundown, I got the cut out. I got the cut out. It says swipe white for comments. I'm not used to this. Um, so I'm learning. All right. And so swipe left to close. Okay. So um, what was I saying? Shit. I just lost my train of thought. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What else was I saying? Oh, yes. So I said to cover the head, put a little salt in there, cover your head, put a cap on, whatever. They're not telling you what the hell else is going on out here. Now, y'all know for me to be up and out of my bed at this hour, because I can't sleep. I'm wired for sound, and I've got all of my windows open. I live in a high-rise, right? So, outside my window, all I can see is the sky, straight up. I need to be watching the skies 24 hours nonstop until this thing happens. I have got to be I got to see what's going on. It's just the energy is funky. So, did y'all know that the state governments, state governments of several states have put out warnings to get extra food, to keep your kids out of school, to get to fill up your gas tank. There are states who are telling their people to do this. That's never happened for an eclipse. Never. So clearly, they know something we don't. Okay? They clearly know something that we don't know. Hey guys, I see you. Hey David. Hi Annette. Hello. Hello to I can't, I, I see y'all. And I just want to say hello. I just want to stop and shout you out. And uh, if you'll please, you know, like, uh, hit the light. Just tap, 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 tap on my face. Tap, 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 tap. All right. So you've got the states who is tell who telling us stay home for this um, for this event, for this, this thing. They're telling you to get extra food. They're telling you, I got notes here because I've been writing this stuff down. They're telling us to keep your kids out of school. Now, y'all, when we were kids and it was a, an, a, a, um, an eclipse, what were we doing? What were we doing, y'all? They had us going outside. They had us making our little the little paper, and then we had to punch the hole in it so we could see the the eclipse. We used to do that. But now, for the first time, we've got states, state governments, who are telling us to keep our kids out of school for this this event, for this this eclipse. Y'all, this is nothing to be played with. So they're telling you to keep extra food, get extra food. Gas up your vehicle. Make sure you got gas in your vehicle. And they're telling you to keep your kids out of school. I always was saying from the get-go because what I knew about this energy that I knew I was going to be staying at home. I'm not going out in that. Because again, remember, it's the sun being darkened by the moon. The sun is what gives the energy. The sun is what is, is, is our life source. And it's, be, it's casting darkness upon the land. Oh, no, no. We don't have any business out in that. Period. Especially if you're melanated. All right. So now that, that I, the first thing that I told you guys is to, is to cover your head, get a head, a head wrap, get whatever, something to cover your head. Cover it. Sprinkle a little salt in there and cover it. I've got salt sitting in here right now and my head is covered and my head's going to stay covered until I feel like I need to take it off. So then, the other thing that's happening that they're not telling y'all is that the nat the National Guard, I don't know if y'all can hear me because my earbuds are going in and out. Can y'all hear me? Okay, can y'all hear me? 
All right. So it says power on. I hope y'all can hear me. If not, then it wasn't for y'all to hear. So the other thing that the states are doing, so I talked about covering your head, staying in the house. They are, the state's governments are telling you to get extra food. They're telling you to get the kids out of school, leave them at home. They're telling you to get extra gas. The next thing is that in some states, they're calling on the National Guard to be in place for precautionary measures. They know something. They know something. For this eclipse, they know something. Look this shit up. You can look it up just like I did. It's already out there. Google it. They're saying these things. So, with that being said, heed the warning. Don't be a hardhead. We are in precarious times. We are in very different times. And as above, so below. Let's talk about let's talk about historically what has happened when these types of eclipses come about. Now we know just from our reading in scripture. If for those who indulge, for for just going through history, right? That um, that going through history, that whenever there has been a solar eclipse, it is usually earthquakes that come with that, and we talking mega earthquakes. We talking earthquakes in diverse places. That's what we are, what we have seen over the over the, the the centuries. What we also know about solar eclipses is that when they come, they also uh, bring death. Right? We know that some major political or 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 king or something, they they fall. They have a death. There's something it heralds that thing in. Let me tell you the other thing that they're not telling you about this this particular eclipse. This particular eclipse. Hold on one second. This particular eclipse also has a comet that's flying around right now as we speak. A comet. And the comet's name, look this shit up. Y'all can go right into your Google and look it up. The Devil's Comet, that's the name, you know, they named comets. They named this comet the Devil's Comet. Devil's Comet. This comet hasn't been close to Earth in our orbit for the last 71 years. And so now, on the eve of us about to have a solar eclipse of this magnitude, we've got a comet out there running around talking about warning, 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 because that's what comets do. Comets herald is it gives the clarion call it heralds in uncertain events unusual events look at your history that's what comets do this comet that's out there right now and you can see it if you're looking in the west towards the setting sun this comet has not been here in 71 years in fact I'll give you this that they gave us. Back in 1811, when this comet was coming through, three months after that, the largest earthquake in U.S. history hit. That was three months after this comet that is going around right now, just before this, this eclipse, it hit. On 18, it came through on 1811, and three months after that, the largest earthquake in the U, in U.S. history came about. When that earthquake happened in 1811, this very same comet, this very same comet that's coming around, when that happened back in 1811, the Mississippi River flowed backwards. It flowed back. The, that earthquake caused that that it ushered in caused the Mississippi River to flow backwards and the earthquake was so heavy that the Liberty Bell rang way here on the East Coast that same comet that I'm talking about that was that that heralded in this largest earthquake back in 1811 Three months after, three years, uh, three months after that, that it caused that earthquake that did those things. 
I think I'm just gonna take off these headphones. I hope y'all can still hear me. If you can, let me just see something. Hold on, let me just let me just see something here. Hang tight, guys. Perfect. Now can you hear me? Can y'all hear me up close and personal? Perfect. Okay. So, we were talking about the devil's, co devil's comment. That's the name of the comment that is floating around right now. Straight up. That's floating around right now. And the last time that, that comment came around here was 71 years ago. Right? 7 plus 1 is what? 8. We are in the year of the 8. 2024 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 4 is 8 y'all these numbers don't play that's why you should study gematria that's why you need to study these things right so let's 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 recap again so the first thing i told you is keep your ass at home don't be out in that shit do not be outside in this this is nothing to play with this is serious the next thing I, I, I told you is to cover your head. Throw put a little bit, bit of salt in there, cover your head, and speak protection, protection over your head and over your house. The third thing that I told you about was how the government, states government, state governments around the country are telling people to stock up on food, stock up on gas, or get fill up on gas, and get your kids out of school. That in and of itself is crazy. Also, the fourth thing that I shared with you is that the National Guard in some states are on precautionary watch right now for this for this event. They know something we don't know, but I'm going to tell you why they know something because I'm going to tell you what's going down. All right. Then the next thing I told you, the fifth thing, is that as we speak, Devil's Comet, which hasn't been around this sucker in 71 years, is out there going around the earth as we speak right now. And the last and, and when it hit with that comet, that same one that's going around the earth right now came around here in 1811. Three months later, from that time, the largest earthquake in US hit. And it caused the Mississippi River to flow backwards and it caused the Liberty Bell to ring here on the east coast of Philly. Y'all, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. All right. So now, let's talk up. Let's see what, what else is going on. So with this eclipse, now we're about to get into the meat of it. Now we're about to get into the nitty gritty. Now we're about to get into it. You might want to sit down for this. There is a company called CERN. C-E-R-N. Hi, y'all. I see you guys. I just want to say hi. Hello. There's a company called CERN. And CERN, I'm looking at my notes. Again, everything that I'm saying, Google it and verify it. And so, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the, tick the, for the TikTok cash. I am so new to this, but I'm going to start doing a lot more lives now because now I'm approaching 5,000 followers. And I said once I get to 5,000 followers, I'll be going live weekly. And those who actually subscribe uh, to, I'll open up a subscription. And those who subscribe will be able to come on with me live and all that stuff. But we'll talk about that later. This is not for this. So this company, CERN, C-E-R-N, I need y'all to look it up. CERN is on the, on the day of the eclipse tomorrow they are about to fire up a super collider called the hadron collider h a d r o n collider what that is it is a 17 mile super collider that's sitting um 300 feet underground it's a 300 it's it's, it's sitting 17 miles uh it's a 17 mile 300 feet underground tube right and what this super collider is supposed to do is to put particles in opposite directions at 700 miles an hour so that they can collide them why the hell would you want to do this why would you want to do this on this day right 
the why, folks, is because they want to, and I've got my notes here, they want to have these particles move at the speed of light to eventually collide, right? The reason that they want to do this is that they want to discover antimatter. They want to discover dark matter. Dark matter is what holds the universe together in space. That is called the God particle. That's what they're calling it. That keeps everything, the, the orbit, how the, the planets orbit, the things where they are, right? They are trying to reproduce that. They are trying to go into that. In sense, this this process, they're messing with the time and space continuum. Yo, you can't do that. This, what they're trying to do, can create miniature black holes. So imagine a 17 mile tube that's 300 feet underground that is going to fire up on tomorrow, April 8th, when we've got this solar event that's going on, something that they themselves said they weren't sure what the outcome would be, but they could bring something in, they could take something out. Well, what if they mess up and create a whole bunch of mini black holes? Do y'all do y'all know what a black hole does? A black hole is like a super vacuum. A black hole does nothing but sucks things in. The gravitational pull it cannot be denied. Once something gets close to a black hole, game over. It's gonna so slowly but surely and then it speeds up and pulls that that item, that energy, that matter, that planet, that star into the black hole and destroys it. It's gone. Or it goes into what's on the other side of that black hole. Nobody has been able to successfully go through the black hole to see what's on the other side. So, that being said, this company, CERN, C-E-R-N, they are firing this bad boy up tomorrow. There are scientists around the world who are saying, don't do this. They're not listening. CERN is located, I think it's Switzerland, right? There's a whole other thing about where it's located, but I will say that tomorrow because it's going to freak you out. But case in point, um, they're going to start this up on tomorrow. We don't have any business being out there. What if they start that thing up tomorrow? They don't know what, they do not know what the outcome is going to be. And we all are out and about out there, and they fire that thing up, and anything can happen. Let's say, for an adventure, all these black holes do fire up that they create with some shit that they don't know what they're doing. And suck everybody and everything around it into the, them playing with fire. They are playing with fire. You've got top scientists around the world telling them, do not do this. Again, guys, y'all look that up. CERN. It'll also, as a side note, just to let you know, that in front of their building, they have the statue of Shiva. Shiva is the Indian god of destruction and rebirth. This is the statue that was gifted to them that sits in front of their, um, in front of, of CERN, the, the actual building, C-E-R-N. Everything that I'm saying, guys, Google it. Fact check me. Who was Shiva, the god of destruction and rebirth? This thing is sitting out there right now in front of their building. Now, here's the getter. Here's the kicker. Clutch your pearls for this shit. They're firing this thing up, this super collider that's going to mess around, fuck around with the time-space continuum. Some shit we have no business dealing with. Playing God on top tomorrow where they don't know what is going to happen when they do but on the April 22nd which is Passover that's celebrated as Passover they're going to then introduce antiprotons into the collider why would you do that and did I also mention to you that 
April the 8th, tomorrow, is Nisan 1, according to the Hebrew calendar, which is the beginning of the Hebrew year. Then 14 days after that is Passover. So between now and April 22nd, they're out there messing with shit that they don't need to be messing with. Alright? So, that's the one thing that I wanted to tell you. So, we're, I'm in my notes, y'all. Okay, so here's the next thing that I want to give to you. So, we talked about CERN. The next thing that I want to share with you is... Hang in there. Okay. Cicadas. Yes, those things. Those creepy-ass bugs. Well, a few days after this eclipse, in about 17 states cicadas are going to emerge from the earth and you know they usually come out every 13 every 13 to, to 17 years but these aren't just any any regular ass cicadas no there are going to be two breeds of these cicadas that are going to come out of the ground the last time this has happened with these two breeds thanks guys thank y'all for joining I see you. I just want to let you know I do see you. The last time that I saw, that we saw these cicadas coming up out the ground like this was 1803. These puppies been sitting in the ground. They're, they're putting up two breeds. Fact check me. Google it. Look it up. The last time that these things came up, this particular two breeds came up, was when Thomas Jefferson was president. This is all happening around the eclipse. Remember, I tell you guys, I teach you guys on my channel, both here and especially on my YouTube channel. As above, so below. Whatever happens up here, the effects down here. So you got these cicadas. Now, these, cic these two broods of, c of cicadas that are coming out that haven't been out since 1803. This hasn't happened to, since 1803. Y'all, these things are carrying a fungal STD. Fact check me. A fungal STD is, is what these cicadas are carrying. So they're going to get up, mate with each other with a, while having this fungal STD, and then, then die. And we're not talking millions. We're not talking billions folks they're talking trillions all of this just a few days after this eclipse that is happening do you see why y'all need to keep y'all's asses at home this is some energy we don't need to be playing with y'all i know it's an event that we don't get to see enjoy it from your home what you need to be doing at home is reflecting calling in peace upon your home just like they did in the Passover that was talked about, how they marked their doors with 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 the sign of, of peace and, and and with the mark, I think it was the, the tav, the tav or whatever. They marked their doors in blood that it would pass over. Guys, this is not something to be playing with. I know we feel like we can we are indispensable. I know we feel like oh nothing's gonna happen. Y'all we are in in, in, in very interesting times. Let me take you a little bit further. So, we've talked about covering your head, putting salt on your head and covering your head. We talked about how the government in several states are telling y'all to stock up on food, water, gas, keeping your kids out of school is what they're telling us, that they're going to have the um, National Guard in some of these states on guard. Clearly, the government knows something. I'm pretty sure they're probably afraid of what these people in Switzerland are doing with this super collider. But they can't do shit because it's not on U.S. territory. Then, i tell you about the cicadas. Y'all, look just in recent days alone. Let's talk about what's been happening in recent days alone. Because we like to look at the signs of things, right? Because the signs of things tell us. Guys, if you would just tap that button while I'm looking up things just to show me that you're here. Just tap that. Tap my face. Tap my glasses. Tap my lips. Because <laughs> they're big. 
and let me know that you're here and show some love and exchange your energy with me. I thank you for that. Thank you. I see it. I thank y'all so much. I see y'all so much. So thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So let's talk about some of the things that have happened over the last week that have given, you know, some, some signs into what's going on. So, of course, we know that Pluto is in play, right? We know that Pluto is in play. And what, what have I been telling y'all on both this channel and on my YouTube channel? That Pluto is death and rebirth. Pluto is the uncovering of things. Everything that's been in the dark is coming to light. That's why you got shit coming up with, with Diddy and all of his sons. Honey, I'm here to tell you, wait for it. Because there's a whole lot more that's going to be coming out. Watch it. All right. So, we also had, and you know, on that same day that that happened, what was happening in the sky? We had a, we were in a lunar eclipse. So, we're talking moon energy again. Lunar eclipse in the sign of Libra. Well, what does Libra talk about? Libra is all about the scales being balanced. Law enforcement. That sort of thing. Right? Right. Also, later on that evening, after they did that bust on Diddy, what happened? In Baltimore, the Francis Key, uh, Francis Scott Ski, uh, Francis Scott Key Bridge went down. Right? So now you've got things in the water that's happening. That shouldn't be a surprise to you. Why? Because you got Saturn in Pisces. Pisces is water. Saturn is a, 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 a maleficent planet, right? So, you go, we're going to get ready to see a whole lot of bad shit that's happening in these oceans, these seas, these waters. You're going to start seeing a whole lot of just crazy shit with water, bodies of water. All right, so let's talk about it. We've had, in this week, heralding up to this, this eclipse. I'm sorry, I just have to look at this guy because I just thought I saw something. We had the Israeli airstrikes that happened, right? Where seven aid workers were killed. We had the tornadoes in the Midwest with the Nor'easter. This is all in a week, y'all. All in a week. We got the cicadas that we're learning that are coming. We're learning about CERN. We got the earthquake that happened in Taiwan, which was on the 3rd of April, that was what, on, on the 3rd of this month, which was a 7.4 magnitude on the Richter scale, the worst in 25 years. Do y'all see what I'm saying? Every time there is a major solar event like this, that the earth shakes, the earth talks, the earth moves. They just had aftershocks today in Jersey. The earth is talking. As above, so below. Now, the other thing that they're reporting that's happening right now is the avian flu. So we're talking the bird flu that's happening in chickens now. That just came out today. They found someone in Texas that had it. Two million chickens could be affected. And now it's moving to cows. So now we're talking about we're talking about disease coming into the land. Do y'all see why I tell y'all to sprinkle this salt on y'all's head and c cover your heads? Keep your heads covered while this thing is going through. And you don't remove that until you feel in your spirit to remove it. That's what I'm going to do. All right? Thank you so much. So I'm just letting you know, whenever there's something major that's about to happen, the warnings are given. You've got to tune in to the warnings. Folks, this is nothing to be playing with. It's really not. And I know, I know that we want to see this event. But I'm begging you, please watch it from TV, from your homes. Don't go out into this. Because it may not be something that happens on the 8th. It could be days after. It could be weeks after. But you just don't want to be out there absorbing that negative energy. Because remember... The sun is being darkened. The sun does what? Give us life. Gives everything life. And it's being darkened. Now I'm going to go to the next thing. 
when this this eclipse happens tomorrow there is going to be a planetary alignment of five planets lining up and I'm gonna tell you what that means spiritually you've got well, to witness because they're bearing witness that's what these planets are about to do they're like okay we, we, we here for the party we here to see how this is going to go down the planets are bearing witness of what's about to be brought into the earth the planets of Venus the planet Neptune the planet Saturn the planet Mars is going to be in alignment with earth earth fact check me all of this is happening tomorrow along with this solar eclipse do y'all see how much energy is up there no no you can't be out and stuff like that and no you it's just not I'm everything in my spirit says no now so now you've got this eclipse that's going on with five planets in alignment to bear witness because the heavens will bear witness of what each other will do and then you've got Chiron I didn't tell you this we got Chiron and Chiron is going to be conjunct with the solar eclipse now what is Chiron Chiron is the constellation of stars that represents the wounded healer well y'all and, and if we want to go biblical text who's the wounded healer that's Christ energy that that energy the wounded healer Chiron fact check me is going to be conjunct with the solar eclipse all this energy Folks, you need to be at home, being in reflective uh, prayer, being in good thoughts, being calling goodness into your life, meditation, uh, manifesting, protection. That's what we need to be doing. So, again, oh shit, I forgot to tell y'all about this one. Y'all have been following this, but I wanted to wait till it was closer to it. Yes, raise your vibration. Exactly, QT. Exactly, raise your vibra vibration. Right. Maybe peace could miraculously manifest. That's what we're praying for because we need it. So here's the next thing. And guys, if you would, blow me up and tap, 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 tap. <sighs> Y'all ready for this next one? I got to I got to I get this one. This thing that's also happening tomorrow. They're not talking about it. I need to drink some of my tea for this. I thank y'all so much. Yes, release negative energy. All right. Hello. Hey. Hey. Yes. Hi, Patricia. Forgiveness and love. I want to shout some of you all out. Hi. Hello. I don't. I don't do lives often, but I said that um, I'm coming up on five thousand followers. So I hope you all follow me. I'm very, very close. And I said once I get to five, then I will start coming on live each and every week. And those. I'll probably open up a subscription platform so that those who subscribe will be able to join me live and we can start having conversations so people can hear your voice. Hello. <laughs> so I just thank y'all. I, I really do. I, honestly, even though I'm a trained public speaker and all this, that, and the other, I think because of this energy, it just is. it just has me in my feelings right now. It really, really does. I mean, I haven't been able to sleep or rest all day. All right. So y'all did well for me in tapping that 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 uh, screen for me. I appreciate that. So now I'm about to hit y'all with this shit. Again, fact check me. Are you ready? Are you ready for this one? Here we go. 
NASA. Mm -hmm. NASA is going to fire three rockets up into the atmosphere during the solar eclipse. I get it. We have to, you know, study what's going on in the heavens. But I find it awkward that they're doing that and they're doing three. Yes, you knew that? Yeah. Did you also know what they named um, this this rocket launch? Did did y'all know what do y'all know what they named it? If you do, put it in the chat. Yeah. If you know what they named this. <sighs> they named it APEP. A P E P. Look it up. Who is APEP? APEP is the nemesis of the sun god Ra. They named it APEP. Who was APEP? If you look it up. APEP is the god of darkness. And it swallows up Ra, the sun god. NASA is bold as shit. It's, it's almost like like it's almost blasphemous. I'm like, yeah, it's it's just no no regard. Like I don't know. But yeah, NASA's doing that on tomorrow. So all these different things are going on, all these different energies. Right? I think the last thing that I want to share with you, and again tomorrow I will go with the next thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You got it. The smack show. You got it. Yeah. Hey, Kenya love. Yes. So, I'm going to give y'all one more. And this one is the one that really is striking. I'm going to give you one more. And then I, I'm going to go. And I'm going to try to get some, some rest. No, there's no such thing. Yeah, I talked about CERN earlier, Anthony. Good looking out. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, you already seeing him QT wise and all Hey B. Yeah, he can't beat the dodge and I'm a ride. I say, I say, I say. Oh. NASA means to deceive. Ooh, I love it. Wow, Melissa, that's that's insightful. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, I talked about the comet, Robert. I talked about that they named it that the comet that's going around right now as we speak, and we know that comets herald in uh these things. So Give me some taps. Give me the drum roll on, on, on the on the screen before I give you this last one. Because for me, this is the biggie. Give me some taps. Thank you so much. Give me some taps. All right. Are y'all ready? And then I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go so y'all can get your rest. Because you're going to need your rest. I really want y'all to get your rest. Mm -hmm. I love your comments. I can't wait to go back and read this when I, go, uh, when I look at this again. All right. Thank you so much for your double taps. Thank you. All right. Here we go, guys. X marks the spot. What do I mean by X marks the spot? If you know, go ahead and type it. So here we go. The first eclipse that we had that went, or the last eclipse that we had was on 8-21-2017. And it went from the west uh, to, to the east. I think that's right, yeah. Yeah, because it started in Salem, Oregon. That one, the line of totality, where the sun is completely blocked out, hit seven cities named Salem. Mm -hmm. Seven. Fact check me. So it goes like this, right? Some seven years later, we're having another solar eclipse. That one in 2017 was called the Great American. I remember I was at work outside looking up like everybody else, not thinking anything. Went through seven cities named Salem. Salem means peace. Salem, I think, used to be the name for Jerusalem. Jerusalem, that makes sense. Then, coming tomorrow, some seven years after this event, we're having the next solar eclipse. This one is coming up and it's making an X. So X marks the spot. 
this time it is hitting cities called Nineveh. I posted a little bit of this on my YouTube channel. Please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm really giving details there. Link is in the bio to the YouTube channel. Uh, it's the same handle as I have as this. It's, it's the Emperor Speaks. It's blue. It's the, it's the Emperor Speaks. It's blue. That's the name of it. Anyway, I digress. So X marks the spot. Folks, this is the first time in a hundred years that we've had this happen, right? I want you guys to start thinking about numbers. I want you guys to start thinking about and studying and, and really getting into gematria. Because I am now and it's changed my life. And so, you got Salem and then you got Nineveh. And we know that Nineveh is destruction. Where it crosses, where the X crosses, where it, this line of totality will intersect is at the city named Rapture. There's also a pond or something called uh, Devil's Cove. A lot that's going on there. I'm going to go more into that tomorrow. I'm going to do a live tomorrow, but that will be on YouTube because I don't have the bandwidth here to do it. I could probably do put snippets from that onto here, but for you all to get that, you'll have to be able to. You have to go to my YouTube and subscribe to watch that. Just click subscribe, click the bell, and when I pop on, you'll know. That is incredible that that's going to happen. That X marks this spot. I love y'all. Are I love your comments. I love this. I love this. And I just, with number seven representing the number of perfection, uh, for that to happen seven years ago, hitting seven cities called Salem, and then seven years later we're having another one of these, X marks the spot, it's no coincidence, y'all things are happening. And my thing and my care is for the collective, for those who are going to receive this. If you're not receiving it, that's not my problem. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, that's your call. I'm just the messenger. I just have to be obedient and give the information here at 2.39 in the morning. And that's all I'm called to do. So I'm going to go ahead and close this live. I really thank y'all and appreciate with y'all exchanging your energy with me. I hope that you subscribe here again when I get 5,000 um subscribers here i'll go live and those who subscribe you guys will be able to come on out when you want to you know i'll be inviting you on and we'll do live chats and i want to hear your voices but i can't do that until i hit 5,000. and then of course above that pop over to my youtube that's where i really get to go into it and be able to show diagrams and stuff like that i'm wishing you all love life happiness protection i speak protection over each and every one of you i speak protection, protective energy, love, peace, prosperity over each and every one of you. Ashe, ashe, ashe. All right, guys. Have a good night. Go to sleep. And may thy sleep be sweet. Ashe. Bye. I thank y'all for your exchange of energy. I thank you. Oh, my God. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> this is like my first real life. Okay. I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at all y'all's comments. And I thank y'all so much. I'm going to go to bed. And I want y'all to go to bed and get some rest because we got to be rested for this energy. We got to be rested. But get that head together. Get that head. Your head, this is where your ori sits. This is where energy comes in and out. You want to get protect that head. Throw some salt up there. Tie that head up. Put a cap on. Wig cap. I don't care. Just, do, just consider that. Okay? All right, sending y'all love, light, and peace. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Y'all just made me so happy. Please subscribe here and especially at my YouTube channel. I'll talk to y'all. Be looking out because I'll be doing a lot of videos tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thank you. Ashe. How do I turn this thing off? Somebody better tell me because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? How do I do this? I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't know. But that's just helping you guys to do what you guys do. I'm looking how to end this, and I don't even know how to end this live. That's crazy. Okay, I'm ending it now. I found it. All right, much love. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Watch out on the YouTube channel. It's coming.